With the release of the next generation consoles coming from Sony and Microsoft, this is the best time to bring back the best gaming headsets part three. Headset number one, we have the Razer Black Shark V2X. And right away, I absolutely love the adjustment to the headset. So it's none of that clickiness, you just slide it up or down. And the best thing about this, you could be very precise on how you want it. So sometimes with the click, sometimes it's in the middle and it's just not right. But with this, you can slide it to your liking. Now, unfortunately, you cannot turn the headset and rest it on your neck. You can, but you can't lay it down flat. The only controls you have on the headset, you have the volume knob and then you have the mute button. Now the mute button is a push button. So once you press it, you're gonna see that uh, green highlight around it, indicating that it is enabled. And you guys can see you have this nice different green cable. The cable isn't braided, but it's a different material than your traditional headset. I wish it was braided still. Now in terms of air cuffs, it's actually pretty amazing and incredible how we have different material air cuffs. So it's like this soft memory foam, very comfortable, I must say. I was playing some Doom Eternal on my Xbox and I gotta tell you guys, hours and hours of play. This thing is super comfortable, very lightweight as well. And the sound that comes out of this is not too shabby as well too. For $60, I would say you get an incredible value here. So the Black Shark V2X is a solid pickup. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. This is the black shark X. Next up on the list, we have the Logitech G Pro Gaming. This is gonna run you $91, and if you guys haven't guessed it already, I'm going from cheapest to most expensive, just like on part two. I love the little metallic finish on the side, the little Logitech Gaming logo. You have the Pro on the headband. You can also detach the microphone. Now this is for if you wanna just listen to music, if you wanna use this as regular headphones without the microphone being in the way. And one of my favorite features on any headset, you can detach the jack. So if this cable goes bad, you could be able to replace it with no problems versus on the last one, the Razer Black Shark V2X. If that cable goes bad, you have to buy another headset. So I forgot to mention that. You do have the clickiness back on the headband. So you have just, you know, different steps and no controls on the actual headset itself. You have all your controls in this line here. So you can be able to mute your mic with no problems using this little uh, control box here. And that is all through the wire itself, which the wire or cable I should say is braided. So it's gonna help with the longevity of the cable. This cable is super long. Uh, it could get in the way maybe for you because your control is right there. The reason why you have a long cable is because it has a USB dongle, although you can connect it directly to your controller, but if you want the best possible experience, use USB connected to your console. I like the way how these headphones feel. Um, I do like the Razors a little bit more better because it has that cloth and then that leather. It just feels marvelous, but this is no slouch either. When you're gaming for hours and hours, I feel like the air cuffs can get a little sweaty around the air. I feel like the Razor kind of absorbs that a little bit more better. And also you cannot turn these. So when you rest them on your neck, you can't have them flat down. So far, I would still say the best bang for your buck has to be the Razor Black Shark. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. 
the chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Next up on the list, we have the Rawcat ELO 7.1 Air. Now this is gonna run you $100, it's okay. You have all your controls on the side, on the left side. It's very close to each other, so it could be confusing to indicate which one is which. You have your game chat, your voice chat, the volume of the headset, your mute button. It's an actual button, it's not like one of those push buttons. You have USB Type-C for charging, and you have your power button there too as well. You have a logo on the side, and then you have the text. And then if you power them on, you have RGB. Uh, Microphone-wise, it'll get the job done. It's nothing to write home about. Comfort-wise, you cannot adjust the headband, which I'm not really a huge fan of. I'm not really a huge fan of something where, okay, it's like this with this headband, Nah, that's not really my style, but and in order to set this up, you have to connect the dongle that's included inside the box. It's very tiny. That could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. It's gonna be very hidden, I would say. Very simple, very easy, and this will work on PlayStation, Xbox, and on PC. And also, the best thing is you can turn the air cuffs sideways, so it's very comfortable. You can rest it on your neck. The sound quality is nothing to write home about. I feel like, it could improve the bass just a little bit. I like the flexibility of the microphone. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now sticking to the trend of a $100 headset, we have the Pulse 3D headset. By the way, this is the best looking gaming headset ever. I mean, it's probably missing some RGBs, but for the most part, it just matches the aesthetics of the PS5. The headband is automatically gonna just set it on your head. Um, I, like I said, I'm not really a huge fan of that, but you don't have no wires, everything is wireless. You have all your controls on the side. So you have your power button, or I should say power switch, which I'm an absolute fan of. So you're not accidentally pressing that button. You have to physically switch it on or off. You have your auxiliary jack there, so you can plug it into the uh, controller. And then next to it, you have your type C for charging. You have your mute button, so you can mute it. And you guys can see the highlight around it, indicating that the mute is enabled. You have your volume up and down, and then you have your monitor button. Now this is gonna allow you to hear your voice through the headset. So sometimes when you have your headset on, you're talking louder than normal. You have your game and you have your chat volume balance, I should say, and the microphones are completely hidden. It's not the best on this list, to be honest with you guys. It doesn't sound all that good. And even with the sound, I feel like it's lacking bass yet again. The bass, I feel like it's there, but it's not as pronounced. Now for some people, the comfort could be a turnoff because it's kind of like an on air, but for me, it's over air. I have really small ears, really small ears. So this is gonna fit perfectly for me. And it's very comfortable, but it's not the most comfortable headphones on this list. Now this is gonna work on the PC, your Mac, your iPad. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be PlayStation. It's gonna work on pretty much anything. So I got a glasses and I got a hat. And yeah, it fits perfectly with glasses on. That's a real test, people don't test that out. I wanna be the one, and that's the thing with my videos. I always go outside the box. You don't see nobody doing like a glasses test. So yeah, drop a like on this video, man. I'm doing, I'm just trying to think outside the box here. 
The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now it's not the best game it has set without mentioning Turtle Beaches. This is the Turtle Beach 600. And I gotta say right away, I love the air cuffs. So when you're sweating on those long session of games, it's not gonna feel too noticeable. And you have that uh, Turtle Beach insignia inside the air cuffs on both sides actually. And yeah, I mean, you have this plasticky feel, but durability, you're not gonna really have too much of a problem. And as you guys can see, you can rotate the air cuffs. So when you're idle, you can be able to just rest it on your neck. You do have your controls present on the side. So you have your volume up and down, your balance between the game and the chat. You have USB-C for charging, and as well as you have your sync button. This is all synced up to my Xbox right now. Currently, you have the, the step system where you could just be able to just... Now, comfortability, it's pretty adequate. It's pretty comfortable. I feel like it could squeeze your head just a little bit too much. I feel like it was, I wish it could ease up just a smidge. Now with the mic, one thing I love, once you pull it down, it unmutes the mic. When you pull it up, it mutes the mic. And then you can hear yourself. So right now, currently I can hear myself through the mic. So that's, it has that same monitor feature, same thing like the Pulse 3D headset. You cannot really, adjust it like you can't you don't have that flexibility in this so you can only move it back move it forward but it's just like a fixed location here so it's just static right here on the left you can't move it too much to your to your mouth the chipmunk has lamonia the chipmunk has lamonia the chipmunk has lamonia the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Next up on the list, we have the Kira Pro from Razer. Now Razer made a lot of improvements since the Black Shark and this is their latest and greatest headset. And I gotta tell you guys, I like it. This is a significant improvement. I love the aesthetics of the green on the top. You have this breathable air cuffs. Um, also, you have your controls on both sides. You have your mute button on the left, so it's a switch. Then you have your volume rocker, and then you have your power there, and you have your USB Type-C for charging. The microphone, you can bend it up, down, side to side, no matter how you want it, and then you can detach it and use these as regular headphones. And the best thing too about these headphones, but you can connect it to your phone and your Xbox. So when you get a phone call, you can be able to answer phone calls without taking off your headset. That is incredible. So that's thanks to Bluetooth 5.0. This will only work on Xbox and on PC. And it's light, so it's not too top heavy. And you can adjust the headband to your liking. So you have these little steps. I wish they would have bring back the, the sliding thing because I feel like you could be a little bit more precise with that. The other side here, you have your sync button. So you press this button and then you press the, the sync button on your Xbox console and you should be able to pair these up. You have your balance. So you have your game chat and the volume balance. And then you have your dedicated Bluetooth button. Yeah, so this is just fantastic. And also whenever you idle play, the headset can rest on your neck and you're good to go. So, wow, this is definitely one of my favorites out of all of them. Um, just the unique features of having, you know, pairing two devices at once, that's genius. So the Razer Kira Pro, this is gonna run you $150. It's like the air cuffs, it kinda, it has like a groove to fit your glasses in, but it's not that comfortable where I could say like, oh, I forgot they on my head. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. 
The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Next up on the list, we have the Cossier H75XB. Right away, the design, absolutely love that design. You have this grill finish here with the Cossier logo there. You can detach the microphone if you want to use this for just regular headphones. You can adjust the microphone to your liking, so you can move it back, up, down, side to side, anywhere. And you have your control, so taking a look at the right side, you have your power button. You have your uh, balance between the game and the voice chat. And then taking a look at the other side, you have your volume rocker. So your volume rocker up, down, and it's weird because there's no limit. Like it, it doesn't stop you. You can just keep on going down, 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 or keep on going up, up, up. And you have your dedicated mute button. So it's just a button that you just press to mute. I wish it was like those buttons where you can indicate to know when you're muted. Sometimes it happens all the time. You're talking to your friends, but your mic is muted, but you don't know. Something to keep in mind of, this will only work on Xbox, so PlayStation is not supported. Um, also, you cannot turn the air cuffs, so when you rest it down your neck, you have to rock it out just like this. But it's a very premium material, very quality headphones, and it sounds jaw-dropping. This has Dolby Atmos. Now it is a matte finish on the side, so if you get any fingerprints or if you get any chicken grease on there, just make sure you wipe it off. I love the over ear, it's very comfortable. And then usually I take this mic out when I'm playing Doom. I normally just play the single player Doom. And yeah, this is just, this is amazing. I love this. And the Adobe Atmos, you guys are gonna love the Adobe Atmos. Now if you wear glasses, you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. The chipmunk has Lamonia. The chipmunk has Lamonia. The chipmunk has Lamonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Next up on the list, we have the Hyper X Cloud Wireless. Now, this is the same exact headphones that were featured on part two, but that was the wired one. Now, they came out with a wireless addition to it, and I was excited, because these were the most comfortable headphones out of all those on that last video. It was a very close call between that one and the Astros, but I'm happy to see that they have a wireless one. So it's like, now you're really in the clouds now. <laughs> all right. But yeah, I absolutely love the aesthetics of these. The black and red theme, um, the metallic, nice aluminum. I think this is aluminum. It's just, this is a nice material. Could have made the wire red. That would have been a nice attention to detail. So you guys see that. It would have been nice if it was red. The microphone, you can move it down, up, side to side. I love this system a lot. You can detach the mic too. So if you just want to listen to the game audio, you can. If you want to chat with your friends, you plug it right in. And taking a look at the left air cuff side, you have your power button and you have your mute. And then on the right, you have your volume rocker on the side. Right off the bat, just like on part two, these are super comfortable. I cannot stress this enough. These are very comfortable. Now, one thing I don't like, I, I didn't like how they didn't include an extra air pad. The second generation cloud it had the extra air pad because the sweat and then you're probably not going to wipe it off. That's going to end up chipping the headset away. But the best thing is you can replace the air cuffs too. So you could take it the whole thing off. Yeah, it's going to work on all your consoles, including PC. And it charges via type C, which I'm a huge fan of. You cannot turn the headset. So when you're just relaxing, or whatever the case may be, you can't have the headset flat down. And take a look at this, guys. You can really go crazy on this one, man. Like, look, look at this. And then when you put it back, it's back to normal. Quality, man, quality. 
The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Next up on the list, we have the Sennheiser PC38X. This is definitely, without a doubt, my favorite Cayman headset. Right off the bat, super lightweight, like very lightweight. This could be the lightest headset on this list, without a doubt. You have extra cushions on the top. You guys see these two pads here? When that rests on top of your head, now you're in the clouds now. <laughs> Um, the air cuffs is definitely unique, is definitely different, but to put the cherry on top, they included the velvet air cuffs inside the box. So you can easily, quickly replace the air cuffs. It's very easy to do. So all you gotta do is just rip this off. So yeah, so it's no kind of like a little folder. It's just like a clip on, clip off thing. And then any headset you want, you just clip it on. It's not the best view to do this in. And now I have these velvet air cuffs now. This is incredible, guys. Let's take a look at the design. So you have this little speaker grill, this mesh kind of like material. Now this little circle here, this is your volume control. Very unique, very different. Um, and it, you could very easily control the volume quickly without fooling around with any knobs. Sennheiser Brandon, and then you can adjust the headset to your liking. And then even the mic, the way how the mic looks is so unique. You have that black and yellow aesthetic there. And I gotta tell you guys, spoiler, this is the best mic out of all these gaming headsets, period. Like you can easily like do voiceovers with just this headset alone. Sennheiser is known for making amazing uh, audio quality. Yeah, these headphones right here with the velvet ear cuffs and the top um, head cushion, A1, A1. One of my favorite gaming headset feature, you have flip up to mute. So to mute your mic, you just pull it up, it's muted put it down, it's unmuted. You can adjust the mic to your liking. Yeah, the way how these headphones feel is just fantastic. And the only caveat I would say, this is not wireless. I wish it was wireless, that would've been freaking cool, but at least you can detach the mic. So you guys see the mic here? If that cable goes bad, if this cable goes bad, you can replace it. And the best thing too, they included another cable in inside the box and the cable is braided. Yeah, Sennheiser, they went all out on this one. And this is like so light, oh my goodness. And the sound, you have a lot of definition on the sound. It's not the most bass heavy, but this is definitely has like that mm to it. You get what I'm saying? That bass, it has it. This black and yellow aesthetic is not gonna be for everybody. I wish it was like black and red or black and green. Um, I couldn't really find any other color options other than this, this one, but hey. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Next up on the list, we have the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. Now, we already, we just reviewed the Black Shark V2X. This is the Pro Edition. I ended up just picking these up both just to see what's the difference between the two. Anytime when a gaming headset has these kind of cuffs, I'm gonna love it every time. <laughs> I'm gonna love it every time. The headband, also the same exact material as the uh, air cuffs. You have this amazing sliding mechanism. So instead of the clicky system, you just have this slides. So you know exactly how you want your headset to be. 
You can disconnect the microphone, unlike the uh, X, you can do that. You have your same exact volume knob, which arguably I think this is the better way to control your volume other than just buttons or you know little sliders on the side. You have the mute button, it's that clicky, so you have the highlight around it. Now the fit is a major improvement compared to the uh, X one, uh, but is it worth $179 though? Is it worth that big price jump? And I meant, I forgot to mention, you can move the microphone to your liking, so pretty much anywhere. You can't turn the headset, so you can't even rest it on your neck and have it laid down. But comfort, this is definitely way better. This is like way better than the X in terms of comfort. And I guess that's what you're paying for. Both the headsets, you cannot detach the cable, which I'm not a big fan of, just because if that cable goes bad, it is game over for these headsets. For both of them, if the cable goes bad, it's game over. Um, but if I had to choose between the two, I go with the $100 one, just that comfort and that longevity of longer gaming sessions, you're definitely gonna appreciate this one a little bit more compared to this. But this is here is no slouch either. Sound wise, I would say exactly the same, very identical. Even when it comes down to the mic, very identical mic quality too as well. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. Now we are at the final boss, the most expensive headphones on this list. We have the Logitech G Pro X. These cost $199, $200, and it's very similar to the other one that we covered, the Pro. It is just like so identical to one another. What's different? Now, this one here, this is wireless. So you can wirelessly connect to your Xbox, your PlayStation. So you can remove the air cuffs, replace it with something that's different, something that's a little bit more comfortable. And then even small details, each air cuff has an indication of which air it is. Now, the left air cuff is where all your controls are located. So you have your mute button, you have your volume up and down, and then you have your power switch, which I'm a big fan of. I don't like the button. You just quickly turn on your headset. And then this is charging via USB type C. Now, one thing that's missing, you don't have the game slash uh, chat balance volume. I would have loved to see it here. And also you don't have no wired support, so you have to use this wirelessly. That's why, that's why they made this one. This one is for wireless, but it would have been nice to have the ultimate one, have it wireless and wired. And sound wise is not the one to write home about, but it sounds adequate. It I would say the microphone is pretty all right. It feel like studio headphones, but that leather and the, it just, it gives me a studio vibe with this one. Now, if you put on glasses, it could feel a little tight, but it'll work just fine. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The chipmunk has pneumonia. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And guys, that pretty much concludes the best gaming headsets part three. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and comment down below which headset was really the best. Honestly, I love the Sennheisers. I love the HyperX Cloud Wireless. But I think the Sennheiser, in my opinion, is the overall winner. But in terms of value, the Razer Black Shark V2, I think those ones are the best in terms of value. Also with the sound test, I use my Blue Yeti microphone with the gain exactly right here, exactly like this. If you wear headphones, you can hear the difference and trust me, 
and you can hear the difference. And I know this video is long, so if you guys watch the video all the way through, I really do appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for all of your support on part two. Hopefully the support can continue, and I am working on part four as we speak. All right, guys, until next time, have a simple day. Peace.